Hello, hello everybody. All right, let's get into this. So we're doing a pour, it's my birthday. How does it get any better than that? Oh, exciting, exciting. All right, so I'm just bringing you up on my other device so that I can see who is here. See the comments. And yeah, let's get into this. So, the other thing I'm going to do is, um, for those lucky people that come in and catch the live, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. And for the subs um, subscribers, that too, for the viewers who come and watch the replay you will also receive a little giveaway and yes yeah, so that looks pretty good need these so what i'm going to do um i was talking my mum through a pour today and to use up leftover paint we <coughs> excuse me she wanted to balloon them, so ended up ballooning the background and then using some string. Ha <laughs> ha! So, alright. Happy birthday. Whoops, this way. I've got to get used to that. Uh, alright. Sorry if there is a little bit of sniffling I will do my best to contain that the temperature change has been so unexpected sudden um, it's just so cold right now uh, so I think we'll go with that I'll chop off the length just so that I can get this off the table that's done and so now we're going to use the balloon that we used previously that's all good and well so oh um alrighty go there so um we're going to use up these paints which have been dripping into each other um, from the previous pour um, I was hoping to also have this one <coughs> drip into that one so as much can drip out of it into there as possible while we get this ready so this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas so that is 40 by 50 centimeters I believe and there we go my fox's baby cakes hello you're in California USA your first time catching me live it's 3 a.m. oh my gosh oh thank you so much for popping in and saying hello it's my birthday poor so my birthday live Ta -da. So, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, whatever's in there now is all we're going to get out of it. Because we do need to start. So, with this mix of leftovers, we are going to start with by just by putting random blobs on the canvas. No rhyme or reason, just as the colour comes out, if I turn that around, you might see more. Hi, I go by baby cakes. Ah, awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. Right. Okay. 
So just as different colours are coming out. Oh my gosh, I just stopped a sneeze. I don't know how, but wow. <laughs> um, just moving it into different places. So like the red's coming out now, but in the first few drops, there wasn't any red. Um, over here. Over here. There is a bit of gold in the last few drops. But now that we're already at this point, I think I'll stop and save what's in the bottom of the cup still for just in case. Nancy Davis, hello and welcome. So for those who are still here watching, Baby cakes, I understand it's 3 a.m. So I will put you into the drawer if you like, even if you do fall asleep. I have to be fair about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to create two of these. These are little four by six inch photo papers. Um, so I'm going to also attempt to do the same thing I'm doing on the larger canvas on these two. And these will be giveaways. One will be during the live right now and the other one will be for those who watch the replay and comment below the video. So let's start off balloon in hand. So just while I'm doing this may you be inspired, learn something new or simply relax while you're watching. So see how I just transferred what was left on the balloon onto the photo paper and I'll keep doing that throughout so that's really pretty. One, two, so that's okay baby cakes. No I know nobody knew until um, the video started. But granted, as it's 3 a.m., I will totally put you in the drawer for that. <laughs> so, Nancy, Oklahoma, USA. It's what 5G share? What's that bit, Nancy? I don't quite get that. Sorry. That one's a bit out of shape. That one, squash it in a bit more. Go on to this one. Oop. No, stay down. Wow, beautiful. That is gorgeous. Might keep that one there. And over here. And that one also. Yeah. Alrighty. Nancy, sorry, still asleep. Oh, five. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 5.35 a.m. Man, that is early, isn't it? Oh, dear. Alright. There we go. That's so pretty. That one down there. So the aim is to fully cover the background with these balloons. Oops, it's blue. There we go. Anyway. So, here we go. 
Just missed a bow call. That's okay. There go. That one looks good to go on there. more like 340 oh my gosh best time for making new friends you've got it nancy there's always a positive and that's a pretty darn good reason there we go that one i might pop that one on here Okay, so this one is covered. And I'll grab that corner. All right, so that looks amazing so far. Oops, I just threw that on there totally by accident. Okay. All right. We're just wiping off the balloon a little bit and then we'll add some more colours, some more paint from this magical colourful rainbow cup. There we go. And here. And the thing about this is, this is just leftover paint. So Whenever it runs out, which is pretty much now, you can just add drops from my pre-mixed paints. So, yeah. Baby cake's just falling asleep. That is so me. Looks fun and pretty. Thank you. Yeah. I've had several uh, 3 a.m. nights. Good one. Go over this spot. Do we need some blue over here? try and tap the edges and pull away very gently rather than the squashing of the balloon so wow you'll never guess what I forgot by the looks of it <clears throat> there was silicon in this paint so I won't be torching it when it comes to the end just in case it really encourages that silicon to break through. Carolyn, hi. 6.43 a.m. That's not bad. Welcome, welcome. 6.43 is still pretty early um, in many people's books, but... I think that's a when I have been up that early it's like it's a very um, kind of refreshing time of day if that makes sense depending on the season of course so I'm just going to go around now fill in some spaces with some color um, there for sure uh, we've almost finished up our photo papers. Carolyn, Carol, sorry, Carolyn. Um, I am going to give away one of these photo papers during the live. And the other will be for people who come in after to watch the replay. Okay. Go with that. 
having a look and grabbing some random colours to add to these little leftover space colours. I really like to try. It would but work horribly. Oh no! Well the up and up from that Carolyn is that it's going to be a fabulous day. So. Happy birthday! Thank you! Alright, so get some of these now. And over here. And down here. Got some visitors by the sound of that. Push down there. Okay, this one looks great, so I'm going to pop it on here. There we go. Now that one's almost done. If I land on some blue. Hi. Hi. Um, could you try and just hold that upside down for a little bit, please? Yeah. Um, so, where are we up to? About here? Yes, you agree. I think so. blue in there. And now, oh that's pretty. I've covered all my photo papers so I'll continue to stay on the canvas for this one. That's nice. That is nice. And there's another one. So we're nearly all done. I'm excited to see how this goes. Bring that over the edge. Okay. So we just need some of that blue. Can you please rip me off some paper towel? Thank you. So I'll just pop some blue on the purple. Some up here. Some in there. Where else? I'll just do one there and and maybe pink. This is a mixed pink that I created from a crimson and titanium white. And there. So level blue and green. Ah, oh, sounds great because I love green. Thank you. Right, so last of the colours. Some spaces when I've got some extra paint on. So I might wipe that one off. Big push on that one. Push it out, here, here, over here, so just going everywhere that needs it right now. Okay, see a couple more spots and then on to the next step. What paint am I using? This is um, mostly creative place paints. And I generally mix my paints with a combination of either Atelier Pouring Medium or this Montmartre, whoops, sorry, I get you around the wrong way, Montmartre Pouring Medium at equal parts and also then a bit of Floetrol, so the Australian Floetrol, and then... If I need it really runny, that's when I add some water. Or if I need need it quite thick, depending on the technique, of course. Um, I don't add any water. 
So, and unfortunately there's some traces of silicon in here, but it'll be okay. One, two, three, just tapping little spaces now. This edge is drying because it gets quite thin on the edges. But I'm not worried about the sides. I will paint them one solid colour um, afterwards. So just having a look, making sure that we can't see any obvious big white bits. That might be there. Alright. Well, that's that first step done. I keep seeing these tiny little bits of white, but... Ah! <laughs> Happy birthday. Here's to a great day for you. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. Um, okay. I'll make some room now. And we'll get some string. So I would like to do this in white. My little eyeballs just lit up. String. <laughs> so. There we go. They look like fireworks. Thanks. That's One of the hopeful things I'm trying to create. Carolyn so um, in a different piece though I'm aiming to get the ballooning just right so that it looks like fireworks and here it is okay so I did cut this really long and you don't have a lot of room in front here so let's move that so I'm probably just going to go with, I'm only putting one string flower on it. So then I just need to decide, am I going, I plan on doing this as a portrait, not landscape as you can see it. Or maybe I could and do it this way. Hmm, interesting thought. I actually go with it is. Mm. Okay, yes, I'm going to leave it landscape as is. I'm going to go down here with one flower. I'm going to trim my string down. And pop it into the white. Okay. That is titanium white mixed with my pouring medium and Floetrol. Um, I also had this mixed up the other day. Oh, which begs the question now, does it have silicon in it? Guess we'll find out, right? Birthday surprise, Trace. Yes, yes. That's exactly right. Okay. Nancy, mm -hmm. cool. Carolyn is right. It does look like fireworks. What string? Carolyn, this is my favourite to use. It is 8 ply acrylic wool because it's very flexible. It absorbs the paint really well. And that's what I've become very comfortable using so I'm just as I lift the string up I sit my thumb slightly on the edge of the cup as I pull the string out in that section you can just see me at the bottom of the screen it's gonna go forever <laughs> I didn't know my arm was that long okay I'm going to pop it down. Whoops, I want to start higher. Okay. 
So just trying to get my arm in the right position to allow the string to just fall. Oops, I wasn't going to try and be so zigzaggy. All good. <sighs> I was trying to be a little, trying to do a bit more of an S. That was in the, my head. That was the plan. But things don't always go to plan. Thank you. You're welcome, Carolyn. Any questions that anybody's got, just write them down. If I don't know the answer, it's something that we can de definitely look up later. So let's pull this now. Aim to keep the string coming off the canvas in exactly the same position where it is now. So, thanks, Annie. Just pulling that now. Ah. So this is what we get when we don't have a lot of paint on the background. So the flower is more solid, would you say? Not as delicate. Ooh wee. Thank you. Alrighty. Good morning, Emma. How are you today? Beautiful. Thank you, Caroline. Okay, so I'm just going to try and pop this, prop this maybe. I'm going to put these in the bin. Alright, so they're out of the way. So I can prop this up at the back and make room to do some white. I'll just use this little string, this little bit that I cut off to do these little photo papers. So I grab the stick, push it into the paint, let it soak up a bit of paint while it's there. There we go. All right. Very pretty, thank you, Emma. It's a water fountain. Oh, I've never seen it that way, but I do see that now. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Um, i try and get my fingernail underneath the... There we go. So if we bring... I'll do it this way. Mm. I'll do these two in portrait. <clears throat> I'm bringing you a bit closer. I just want maybe that dab of green. It's your tummy, honey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yes, yeah, very pretty. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So, me too. I think I can't wait. I heard you have a surprise for me. All right. So this string. So at the end of this, we might just have a little little quiz. The flower is gorgeous. How are you going? Thank you very much. So this is almost doing like doing a flower that would be on a dry canvas because the background is so thin and some of it is already dry. So that area is disturbing me a little so I'm going to pop that on there try and drag that off fill in that there we go 
one flower so I'll do number two then and then I'll ask a question um, I will I have a, a visitor in front of me I have several visitors in front of me right now so I will ask my visitor best neighbor ever to think of a number between one and 40 and then tell it to one of your daughters or both of them okay Save paint made two more awesome. yes absolutely all right so again just pulling the string out of the cup and sitting that's actually just the the glove it's a bit big for my finger so as it comes out it's brushing past the glove and the cup edge so this one now if I can get it to stop swinging all right so for those of you who are here oh you know what I forgot I'm gonna undo that I have to go out a bit further because it's not the same it's not the same as a usual pour my background is dry I keep forgetting that okay. so for those who are here when I say go or when I type go actually so it's all going to be on the screen sorry concentrating can't talk and string at the same time um down there we go so that one I went for the center this one's off center did you ever use change Carolyn, did that end up being a word predict prediction change? I understand. Oh, chain. Did you ever use chain? I think that's what you're saying. Um, I have tried it, but I personally don't like it. Um, that's why I love the string. I stick with the string. Um, yeah, it may be something I can revisit just to have a go again. Yeah. So, all right, that's sat there long enough. Let's give that a pull. Pulling it down. Oh, sweet. I don't want that line too straight, so I'll try and wiggle that a bit there we go yeah have you tried it Carolyn do you do pouring do you have you tried using the string or the chain do you have a preference okay Okay, so let's have a look first at the photo papers. There we go. Let's try and move that away so you can actually see the end of the paper. There we go. Ah, the chain one you didn't like. Yeah, awesome. Give the string a try for sure. Okay, for those still here in the room, um, using one number at a time, when I say go, um, guess a number between one 
and 40 so and then I will after I've seen it I'll type stop and then we'll go back and make sure that that was the first person who wrote it one number at a time you can do multiple numbers um, we haven't started yet mum and um, yeah so between 1 and 40 and go Keep going. I haven't seen it yet. She's made this quick off the mark. So, Mum, that first number wasn't counted. If you want to type it again, I don't know. We got stop. it. Got it. Stop, stop. 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 Mm. <laughs> okay, so Okay, will one of my guests come in please? One of my visitors, I should say um, Okay, so do you remember the number? What was the number? 27 27 so do you recall the name that you first saw that from? Mandy Hall. Mandy Hall? Yeah. Awesome. There it is. Mandy then Emma had it. Yep. Awesome. So, Mandy Hall. Congratulations. My gift to you for my birthday live is one of these photo papers and you can choose which one you would like oh you had it too after Emma oh my gosh pretty good number then isn't it Alrighty. Happy for Mandy. Yay. Congratulations. That's awesome. No. Alright. So Mandy, if you can please email me. Um, I need to write it down, but I don't have anything here. Um, Let me see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can use that. Yeah, I can. Okay, right, in there. Mm. Thank you. Let's see if this text will work so I can write it. Benny, thank you. <laughs> the one on your right. So this one here, just confirming the flower in the center. Must be a small boy's birthday. Small boys? It's your daughter's birthday. What are you on about? I'm going to go back before parents work. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Well, Carolyn, go and have a wonderful, quick um, sleep. <laughs> And I hope you have a wonderful day afterwards. So, at gmail.com. Okay. This is usually written in my description box below as well, but this is my email, Mandy. If you could please send me an email with your postal address. I can send that off to you. 
as soon as it is dry. So, yes, yeah, sleep. I understood, Carolyn. Oh, good. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Mandy, you're very welcome. I'm so thrilled when I saw it, when I was told your name. So, there we have it. All right, let's have a close-up of the big painting now. And, oh man, I love how some of these colours are looking. All right. Oh, okay, this arm. Okay, so we'll start down here. So this is the bottom left. You can see all those balloon effects which create those pretty... They, they remind me of citrus fruit. <laughs> the, how they look. I'm getting laughed at, people. Come on. So we'll go across to the right-hand top corner. So a nice blend and mix of colours in there, I feel. so. And down to the bottom. And then we'll go through the middle. So just some more colour. Great way to use up some extra colours. And if needed, not hard to add a couple more. So thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Mum says hi. Hi, Mum. Um, it's been great. Amazing work, Tracy. Thank you, Emma. And this is the flower. So different effects, different kind of feel as pulling the flower because the surface is quite dry. Well, very little paint. So yeah, Th these are, so this one, if you would like to win this one, please comment below the video. Um, What's a good question? Um, we missed half of the video. What are your two favourite colours that have blended in these balloons? So, this one might be like the red and the gold. This one might be the green and the purple. This one might be the purple and the green. So, yeah. So if you pop that down in the comments below, which two colours do you like blended in a balloon smash? I'll put you into the draw and at tomorrow, nah, let's do another night. Yeah, no, tomorrow night, and tomorrow night's live at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. I will pull the names out of the draw. So... Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Nancy. I'll pop those in. So there we have it. All right. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to go spend some birthday time with my visitors. And I appreciate you all being here. If you have to go anywhere, please take care. And you guys are amazing. Over and over. I can't say that enough. So be kind. Be creative. And be fabulous. Bye.